a new series of tutorials has landed and I called it GNU slash Linux and USB. In this, this series of tutorials I will show you how to code your own USB devices and how to interact with them by using a GNU slash Linux operating system. Today's video I will show you uh, my brief plan for these tutorials and I will also show you some good resources to get started with USB. Okay, so first let's start with my plan for this USB tutorial. First, the first important thing to mention is I will only focus on USB 2.0 and not the later and newer USB versions. The reason for this is we will implement software for a microcontroller with a USB interface to use the USB interface and most affordable microcontrollers you can get only have a USB 2.0 interface. And after implementing some embedded software to get a USB device, we, will, we want to interact with it from our GNU slash Linux system. Therefore, we will implement some user space software to interact with the microcontroller and I will use C and Python for doing this. So in C, I will use the library libusb 1.0 and in Python, I will use the module pyusb, which is just a wrapper of libusb 1.0. And of course, I will also implement some Linux drivers for our custom USB device so you can learn how to interact with the USB device from kernel space. So this is the plan. Now let's talk about the controller I want to use for this tutorial. And here it is. I will use the app Mecha42U for microcontroller. You can buy it on an Arduino Pro Micro board and it costs you about 10 bucks. So it's, the price is still okay. It's affordable. And the reason why I'm using this A4O microcontroller and not a more powerful and complex controller like a STM, for example, is because normally on A4Rs, the interfaces are more minimal and more easier to understand and not so complex like on an STM microcontroller, for example. And the second reason for this controller is I find a very good low-level USB library for it. For STM microcontrollers, you can find a lot of very good high-level USB libraries, like TinyUSB for example. They make it quite easy to implement USB devices, but if you want to learn more about how USB works, I prefer some low-level library with which we can tinker around. And this is the reason why I choose this controller, because I found a very good low-level USB library running on it. Okay, now let's talk about the resources. I have put here four links on the slide and I will also put these links into the description. And now let me go over them one by one. So if you want to get started with USB, one thing you could do is you could read the USB specification. But the USB specification can be quite complex. So USB in a nutshell is a document from Beyond Logic and it's a really good summary of the USB specification mentioning every important thing you need to know. So here on this web, here is the Beyond Logic website and here is the USB in a nutshell um, document as an HTML website. If you pr prefer use, um, reading it from a PDF, there is also a PDF version available of USB in a nutshell. I would highly recommend you to read it because it really gives you, so it explains most of the concepts behind USB in a very easy and simple to understand way. So I would highly recommend you to read it. Then my next resource is the small USB library for Atmel USB A4Rs. This is a library I will use in this tutorials. And here is the website where I found it. So the library was wrote by Gui Weiler and he also provides a lot of documentation to this library. So we have this website here explaining how the library works and we also have three more additional PDF documents explaining more about the library. The only downside here is that this is written in German, so if you want to use it you may will have to use a translator. And the comments of the library are also in German, but when I'm modifying the library anyway I will also translate the comments from German to English so everyone can understand them. And I'm really glad I found this library because it's a quite small library, but it 
gets the USB interface up and running. Okay, so later on we want to access the USB device from kernel space and therefore are the next two links here. So the first link here is um, the chapter about USB from the famous Linux device drivers for the edition book. And it's also available online. So here is the chapter about writing a USB driver, which gives you a really good feeling for the concepts of USB from a Linux driver. And most of these functions still work today, but of course, as the book is a little bit outdated, there are newer functions available. And therefore, I would also check the Linux kernel documentation for USB, which I have linked here. So this will give you another um, quick yeah, this sums, or here you can find all the newer functions for using USB. Okay, so in my next video, I will um, I will talk a little bit about the theory behind USB, but I would highly recommend you to read USB in a nutshell for getting started. So I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymecoffee.com slash Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.